Hey y'all! So I haven't filmed in forever. Um, the most recent video I posted, I actually had filmed that a while ago and I just got around to like editing it and stuff, but I've been really busy so I haven't sat down to film in so long, but I'm really happy that I'm like sitting down to film again because I really, I don't know, it's fun to just like sit and play with makeup, but anyway, today we are going to be doing um, just a chit chat get ready with me. I might speed it up at some parts just because I like taking my time doing my makeup and I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long, but um, I do have a few new products that I'm trying out. I'm using some old favorites, so really it's just a get ready with me, but yeah, if you want to see me putting on my makeup, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I already primed my eyes with my MAC primer. I'm so happy I got another one of these. I have been trying this out recently. It's a Smashbox lid primer. And it's the one that has, I'm gonna need a mirror, like a tint to it. And I've used this on its own and it does not prevent my stuff from creasing because I have really oily eyelids. I just work one eyelid at a time. Um, but I like putting it on under this because it kind of blanks out my eyelid and, um, you know, makes it nice to just put eyeshadow over it and covers up the veins and everything like that. But I'm still trying to figure out, I'm still testing it to see if it works under, um, or over my MAC primer better than my Lay and Low. Does that make sense? Like, I'm trying to see if this is better than Lay and Low because I like that it covers, but I just, I still need to test it out more. So I'm going to go ahead and set my primer with Anastasia Blanc Type. Is that what it's called? Blanc Type? Blanc. No, Blanc Type is MAC. Yeah, I'm just going to set my primer with Anastasia Blanc. Okay, so I always look crazy after I prime my eyes and set them because it's so, it's so, it's like such a stark contrast, like the white eyeshadow versus like my tan skin, but that's okay. We're going to go in with our um, blending color and we're going to, or I'm going to use, where I'm going to use Birkin, still from Anastasia. This is like all of my Anastasia single eyeshadows and I'm just going to use Birkin as my transition color. And Okay, so I have my transition color in. I don't know if y'all can see, but I love, love Anastasia Birkin. It's just, it's like a perfect warm brown, but it's not too orange. Like, it's definitely warm, but it still is brown. You know what I mean? So I'm still going to stick with my single eyeshadows, and I'm going to take Fudge. And I'm just going to use that to deepen up my outer V. And I still don't know exactly where I'm going with this look, but I think I definitely want like a dramatic smoky eye. And so I really, I don't know, I've just been wanting, yes, I've just been wanting like a dramatic brown smoky eye. I just, I love brown smoky eyes. I know a lot of people are tired of like, there's so many neutrals all the time, but it's just like... I'm getting a clean blending brush, by the way. Um, but I'm just... I don't know. I love neutrals so much. This brush is stiff. This is the Morphe 433. This is stiff. I don't want to use this to blend. I'm going to use a different one. And I'm just going to dip into Birkin and help me blend this out. I think what I was saying was my camera stopped recording, but um, a lot of people are just, you know, like over neutral looks because we all have so many neutral eyeshadow palettes and a lot of people want, you know, something more fun and more bold, but I just, I love brown smoky eyes. I'm just a neutral palette type of person and I like color. Like I don't shy away from using color. I like purple. I love, love green eyeshadow. But there's something about just like a blown out brown, like deep brown with a nice champagne 
ish color, you know what I mean? Or like a pinky champagne or even even like a gold champagne. But I it's just I don't know. I love it. It's always one of my go-tos. But I feel proud of myself because recently I feel like I've been more experimental with my makeup. I haven't been filming a lot recently at all, but just when I'm like playing with makeup and doing my makeup, I feel like I've you know, tried new things. And so, I usually never do all matte looks. I love matte eyeshadow, like I think it's awesome. I'm gonna keep blending so I'm not just like sitting here talking. <laughs> um, I love matte eyeshadow and I think it's, you know, necessary to have a matte eyeshadow so it can add that like depth and definition and stuff. But um, usually I just always throw a shimmer in because, I don't know, it's just, it's just what I do. But um, I was just sitting around playing with makeup at home one time on Saturday, or on a Saturday, and I came up with this look, which I'm sure everyone has, you know, worn it before, but it was like a deep brown smoky eye. I used like three or four eyeshadows, um, and I only used the Tarlet and Bloom palette, and it was all matte, and I freaking loved it. And it was like dark, like my whole eye was dark. I mean, maybe like the very inner corner had a little bit of something, but for the most part, like, my whole, my whole eye was dark, and I never, ever do that, because I always, and I'm doing it today, but I always like to keep this part, um, a little bit brighter than the others, just because I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger, but whenever I did, I'm gonna add a little bit of burnt orange from Anastasia. It's like an orangier version of Birkin. Anyway, but, um, yeah, so I really liked it, and I was just, and I don't even think I put eyeliner on, like, I, or I don't know if y'all know, but I was, like, and I still am, of course, but, like, cat eyeliner, I could not, not wear that if I was wearing eyeliner, like, I always had to do a cat eye, um, even when I did smoky eyes, like, I always did a cat eye, but I went through this phase where I was doing like intense smoky eyes like this where I didn't really need eyeliner and then when I did my all matte look I didn't do a winged eyeliner I didn't do any eyeliner just on the bottom actually maybe a little bit of dark eyeshadow on the top just to even it out but it looked so good and I actually really liked it so that was one thing I stepped out of my comfort zone another thing was um it's kind of a challenge for me to incorporate color I mean no like purple I can do but the, like purple and even like not pink because I don't like pink eyeshadow even though that's what the modern renaissance has but like pinky purples and stuff and uh, maroon and stuff I think that's easy for me to incorporate because it's kind of like a brown you just put it in but with green it's like hard for me to figure out looks with green because I don't know what transition colors go best with green and I've tried like orangey browns out neutral browns and so I'm still trying to find the most perfect one but if I ever did green I would just you know keep it like a light ish mossy green on the lid but I got this eyeshadow palette and it has this okay so my camera keeps on like stopping stopping recording my camera keeps uh, messing up and saying it can't record anymore so I don't know where it cut me off but yeah I've just been stepping out of my comfort zone with my makeup not the case today because I am just gonna do something really basic and smoky. Um, so I just finished blending out the dark brown, blew it out a little bit, and I'm gonna take Anastasia Glisten right here. And I'm just gonna put that um, in the inner part of my eye. I really hope there's nothing wrong with my camera. That would be really sad, so. Hopefully it continues to work from here on out. Yeah, this, I was like talking all about how I was going out of my comfort zone, trying new looks, you know, having really dark smoky eyes, and then I come at, come at you, and then I come and I just do something like really basic. But I just, uh, I don't know. I love smoky eyes a lot. They're like my favorite. I like soft smoky eyes, like y'all know, and now I'm starting to like more dramatic ones where it's like actually deep in the outer part of my eye because before I would just do like a medium brown I feel like to add definition and while that's nice you know I just I wanted something a little bit a little bit more 
hopefully y'all can see. And I know it always looks like my eyeshadow isn't blended, like right here. Like if you look, it's like, okay, blend your eyeshadow. But this is actually like a vein. And so it always looks like on camera, not in person, but in, cam in camera, on camera, it always looks like I don't know how to blend my eyeshadow, but I do, I promise. Um, it just looks like that, but for good measure, let's just go over it one more time. I feel like I'm going like this and I was really far down, sorry. And then I want something a little bit brighter in my inner corner. So I'm gonna take Sateen from Anastasia. And I'm just, I'm gonna use the same brush I just did um, cause it's like a champagne color. I'm just gonna wipe it off. And I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. I feel like it's not popping very much for me, but when I do my highlight, like after I do my face and everything, then I'm gonna add some of that to my inner corner. And I think for today, I'm not gonna do any liquid liner. I'm just gonna take that dark brown and put a little bit on my upper lash line just for some definition. And I'll show you the difference. Hopefully it'll show up, but sometimes when I do this, or most times when I do this, I get carried away and do a wing, which today I'm really, I'm not going to, I'm really going to try to not do that. Um, but I'll show you the comparison. It doesn't have to be a lot. It doesn't have to be a thick line. But adding a little bit of something just makes your lash line look a lot thicker. And I don't necessarily think it makes my eye look bigger but I think it makes me look like I have eyelashes, which I do, but you know, like nice and thick. And it just looks a little bit more, more smoky and sultry. So even if I don't wear liquid liner when I'm doing these dramatic smoky eyes, I do use eyeshadow. Oh, that's so, wow. That was like a really big butterfly outside my window. Um, I do really, subtle liner with my eyeshadow. Okay, one thing that I actually really want to add to my eyes because I just want, I don't know, I just want a little pop. So I had three choices from my Anastasia eyeshadows. I'm gonna take pink champagne. So pretty. And I'm just gonna put that um, over that initial champagne color because again I really really want a pop so I'm going to use the same brush I used for the lighter colors just wipe it off and I'm going to put that on top of the champagne it definitely is glittery like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, um, but it adds something. I wonder if using my finger would make it more intense. I'm sure Mac, actually just layering it up does. I'm sure Mac Fix Plus would too. I actually used to really love um, Fix Plus and I just got, I don't know, I'm just lazy. Like, I'm sure I'll get back into it where I spray my eyeshadows with Fix Plus, but I've just gotten lazy. So for now, I'm just gonna layer it up. Yeah, I like that better. So for real now, I'm gonna clean up my face and then we'll come back and we'll do our face and we'll test out um, a couple of other products. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and I put some eyeliner on my waterline. I used the Urban Decay 24 Hour Glide On Pencil and Alkaline. I've been using this a lot lately and I like it because it adds definition to your eyes, but you can still tell that it's purple, I think. Can y'all tell? I don't know. I can definitely tell in person that it's purple, um, but I kind of look crazy. My eyes look really dramatic, but now we're going to move on to our face. I got the Fenty Beauty Primer and I actually like, 
there's been so many videos on about this on YouTube and they just started popping up obviously because it was just released and I wasn't you know I really didn't intend to go out and like stock this collection and buy everything I mean I like it all the videos everything looked so good um and I was I don't know I kind of wanted a few things but I wasn't super like I have to go get this right now but I wanted to look at it in person and when I looked at it in person um, I was reading about the primer and they said it is supposed to what did they say like blur instant retouch primer and so um, someone was saying I think it was Jackie I think she was saying it was like it's a mixture between the Too Faced Hangover let me pump it out she said it was a mixture between the Too Faced Hangover RX and um, the Hourglass Veil Primer or something. And I really like the Too Faced Hangover RX because it's moisturizing. This says it's a soft matte, which I have dry skin. So I don't know how this is going to work. I'm just using my viewfinder. But I really like the Too Faced Hangover RX. And I heard the Hourglass Primer um, is amazing to like blank your skin out. And make your skin look really smooth and that's what I want like I want to find a really good foundation primer that I can have for my wedding and just in general because I'm all about like for me I love doing my eyes and for the longest time sorry I'm just looking at my mirror for the longest time I neglected my face like in college I think I told y'all but in college I literally would like <laughs> I would like do my eyeshadow and obviously like liner and mascara and like that would be it um, because I didn't know how to do my face makeup. Okay, so this is drying. I didn't know how to do my face makeup, and I was like, oh, it's dark, whatever. But now I feel incomplete if I don't. So I want to focus more on my skin. And, or like, you know, my, yeah, my skin, I guess. Because I love doing my eyes, and I feel like I can do my eyes pretty well. But I'm not great at my face yet, and so I really want anything... Ooh, I like the way this feels. It's like soft, but I feel like it's smooth too. But I want, I don't know. I want my face to look good. Plus, I've been using this foundation and I don't like it. I've heard such good things about it. It's the Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting Foundation. This came out a long time ago, but I heard when it first came out, it was like amazing. I can't really tell what this primer smells like either. But I've been trying it out and it just hasn't, hasn't been looking right. And I've been trying to you know use like a nourishing spray there we go so yeah I don't I don't really like the foundation and I'm wondering if this primer can make it look nice so I like the way that feels I'm just again ducking down looking at my mirror um I feel like it did smooth my skin out a little bit yeah it did it didn't like fully fill in my pores or anything, but I do feel like my skin looks smoother. So I'm going to go in with the foundation and hopefully it looks good. What shade do I want to use? I'm going to use the shade 5.5 Accru. And I like the idea of this because it's like a giant doe foot, so I just put it on my face. Um, but I don't know what it is. I feel like it just looks weird on my skin. So... We'll give this a go and at first I was like well what about I just need to do one set of my face first and then and I feel like it's hard to get stuff on the lid and I was like well what about I have to do one side of my face and then go in and do the other side so I tried to do one side at a time and that didn't change I put more on this side so I'm gonna go in for one more and actually I think the first time I wore this I made the mistake of like using way too much so I'm only gonna put a little bit on this side and I can always add more and then for a sound for a brush got my real text real technique um, real technique real techniques can I talk English can I speak English um, expert face brush and let's just blend this foundation in so the way it blended in wasn't an issue like it blends in fine but I feel like the real issue was like the way it looked on my skin. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so again, my camera just, there's something wrong with it. It's so annoying. But um, I put the foundation on and I know it's a little bit dark, but 
I don't know, like it looks better than it normally does. And there's kind of a glow-ish, which isn't the case with this. But I feel like this foundation just like emphasizes the pores on my forehead. So I'm going to zoom out because gross. But yeah, um, I mean, on camera it looks nice. In person, like I said, it doesn't look as bad as it normally does. But I think it might just be the fact that I have some dry patches on my cheek. And that's why. But let's go ahead and do our concealer. I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the shade uh, Light 20, which is like, okay, when I put it on, you're going to be like, what the heck? But this oxidizes. And I don't know if other people have been mentioning that, or maybe they have, and I'm just like, this oxidizes. You guys already knew that. Uh, but yeah, this definitely oxidizes. And again, looks crazy. But so far, I actually do think the primer is helping this foundation look better. I think I already said that, but oh, I, I forgot some on my chin, but I'll just use this. And y'all can already see, I hope you can already see, this oxidized like crazy already. Like, it was like super white when I put it on, but now this is like not light anymore. I mean, it's light obviously still, but not like it was. Okay, so again, my camera cut off and I think I was in the middle of doing my concealer and I think I was in the middle of talking, um, but I went ahead and I finished my concealer. I did my mascara and I actually mixed the Essence Lash, Essence Lash Princess and the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I really, really like the way they like mix together. I've never mixed them before. I've used this separately and this separately. And yeah, you can see it a little bag, whatever. Um, and this, I don't know, I feel like together they just, they look really good. The next thing I'm going to use is the um, Makeup Forever HD Powder. I got the shade 0 0.2. It's a yellow powder, so it looks like this. And it's just a finishing powder. I touched it in the store and it felt so silky smooth. But I just want to touch on the primer. I really cannot believe that I like the foundation I'm wearing because I've tried, whoa, this is what you get when you don't close your stuff. I almost spilled all that. I've tried this foundation, like not a lot, but like four times at least. And I haven't liked the results ever. So I think the primer under it has, I don't know, makes it look good. I can't believe that. Cause I thought I was going to have to return these, but I really wanted to give them a shot. But yeah, I really think this primer is making them look awesome. So I hope, I hope I don't ruin my face with my other face products. But the reason I wanted a powder or this powder is because I got, um, the fit me powder and I've used it a couple times, but I feel like that actually makes me look cakey and that has coverage. And this one is just very, it's like really thin and I don't know, it's, it's so finely milled and it's so soft. When I touched it in stores, I was just like, oh my gosh. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to just dust it all over my face. I don't need a lot, so I'm going to use a really big powder brush, but I'm hoping this continues to blur and smooth, but wow, y'all. I can't believe, I feel like my skin in person, I mean on camera, I don't use any like smoothing filters or a special lens or anything. I feel like no matter what on camera, it is going to look good because like I have natural light hitting me and yeah, but I feel like this primer smoothed my skin out. I can't believe that. It looks a lot better than when I initially applied the foundation and my little dry patch over here that I was talking about in the beginning. Ugh. It's like gone. Okay, anyway, powder. Ooh. Okay, this has, uh, probably can't see that. This has some kick up, so I'm just gonna, instead of hitting it, I'm just gonna, you know, tap it. And we're just gonna brush it very lightly. You're not meant to, like, see this on your skin, I don't think. It's just a light dusting. 
And honestly, with powder, like, I have to, and almost with everything, except eyeshadow. I feel like I can tell initially if I like an eyeshadow or not. But with powder, I'm going to have to keep using it over time. Because when I first used the Fit Me Mountain Poreless, I thought I really liked it. And the more I ended up using it, the cakier I looked. And so, I feel like this powder, it didn't make me look cakey. But I think it took away the natural shine, natural, the natural shine that the primer gave me. Um, I think it took away the shine that the primer or foundation or something that I used gave me. So, hmm, it's okay. I guess I just, I don't know. I guess I don't really need to set my face with powder. I've just been doing it lately because I want to really test out long wearing makeup for my wedding. So, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look bad though. Like, on camera, it looks the same, but in person, I can tell it got a little bit more cakey. Um, so maybe I just don't need to set my face. But for bronzer, I've been freaking loving this. This is the number seven bronzer, and I got the shade Caramel. You can't really see it. Caramel. I say caramel. This is so good, you guys. I was watching a dupes video, and they were saying, like, this is a dupe for the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I have and I love. And... I actually think I like this better. I feel like it blends easier. It's pigmented. I feel like it blends easier. And I don't know. I just feel like it goes on the skin a lot smoother. So I'm just bronzing like normal. And I like this color because it really just gives a nice warmth to my skin and I've told y'all before but I'm not really into like I what am I saying I like really warm bronzer <sighs> camera shut off again so I just I'm gonna breeze through this so it doesn't shut off and if it does I'll be done with the video <laughs> so I used my number seven bronzer I was in the middle of doing my bronzer I love this it just it provides such a nice warmth to the skin it blends so easily I just it's so smooth I love this um, for blush I just use my Milani powder blush in romantic rose I love the like print of this it's a nice nude color I don't know if y'all can tell it's just very subtle my bronzer at there's a fly <laughs> my bronzer adds a lot of warmth and color to my cheeks also so that was my blush and then for highlight oh my gosh I think I've I've definitely talked about this but I haven't mentioned it enough because I've been using it like crazy that 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 sentence didn't make sense but this is oh my god I love this highlight um so this is the Smashbox by Casey Holmes I used this one on my cheekbones and then this one on my inner corner just a little bit but this doesn't emphasize texture at all there is a glittery one um at the very end that I don't really use that much but I just I love this so much so now last thing I want to try before my camera shuts off uh, I got the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. Uh, it's called Fenty Glow. I think this is like one of the... Or this is like her only lip gloss and it's supposed to be like universally flattering. First of all, I love the packaging. It's like geometric. It's a hexagon. And uh, I love this. And I'm not... Actually, I am not into shimmer. Let me, let me zoom in. I'm not into like glitter lips at all. Or shimmery lips. So I'm interested to see if I'll like this. Honestly, it's like why did you buy it? But... I don't know, a lot of people, I bought it because a lot of people, but a lot of people were saying that it's awesome, and it really did look pretty in the store, so let's try it before my camera shuts off. Okay. Um, oh, it smells good. Oh, it feels good. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Mm. Oh, so again, my camera did shut off, but this is what it looks like. You can't really see the glitter. Like, you really can't, so that is actually amazing. Um, but let me just zoom out so y'all can get the full effect. It does look nice on camera. It's very glossy, which is fine. I like it. I just, it's a little too dark. I wish it was a little bit lighter, although I do think this is going to flatter a lot of skin tones. But for me, I like, I like light nudes, and I know this is probably good for my skin tone, but it's pretty, but I feel like when I look at my face overall, it's just too dark. You know what I mean? I feel like if I'm looking at it up close in the mirror, I like it. 
I like the way it feels. It was thick when I was applying it, but not like sticky thick. It was like emollient thick, if that makes sense. It's like very slippy, but not watery. I like it though. Um, I just wish it was a little bit lighter because again, I just think it looks a little bit too dark. And for me, I think when I wear lighter nudes, I look younger. So I'll keep it and I think I'm gonna, not right now, but I think um, when we go to dinner, I'm gonna put a nude lipstick on and then I'm gonna put this over top and see if I like it better. But yeah, I am going to zoom out. I'm gonna close out my video because there's something wrong with my camera. It's honestly, bleh, it's on, it has honestly shut off like seven or eight times. Pretty much every time I like tried to film or tried to like speak for a long period of time, like every three minutes it would shut off. So it's about one minute 45. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.